Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to Sage Line 50. In this short podcast, we are going to show you how to print various parts of the screen, which is something that you will be asked to do as part of the way of submitting your work. So we look at any particular screen. We'll take uh, the screen from Sage Line 50 here and we'll look at the company dashboard which is the general picture of the company at any particular moment. Now here's one way of printing the screen. If I simply look for the key which is usually up by the function key and it says PRTSCN print screen I hit that screen and I then go back to Word I open a Word document and what I'm going to do now is paste in the word document and you can see that what I've done in fact is I've managed to paste in a copy of the screen so I pasted in a screen image and saving this word file and sending it is one of the ways in which you will be required to do submissions now there are other ways in which you can use a print screen and I'm just going to go back to Sage and I'm going to look at custom and defaults there we are and I could have picked on anything but what I've done really is I've put one screen on top of the other now the customer defaults is known as the active screen and what I'm now going to do is hold down the alt key and press print screen and then having done that I'm going to go back to Word and here we are and I'm going to paste in and you can see this time all it's pasted in is the active screen at the top if you like of the screens from Sage right that was the active screen there uh, the screen was inactive there is another tool which if you've got Windows 7 uh, you can also be aware of although you will not be required to use it for this course we will go over it now if I hit start there the icon at the bottom left and I type in snip will do and you'll see what comes up is a snipping tool so I'm just going to click on the snipping tool and you can see now that the snipping tool has come to the surface and this offers me a number of different forms including a free form snip, a rectangular snip and a full screen snip. I'm going to leave it on the rectangular snip at the moment and this time what I'm going to do is just take a part of the customer default screen there we are and now I can save that part as a separate file I can save it as a PNG file or I can save it as a GIF file or I can save it as a JPG file I'm just going to name this one as Sage Capture and I will save it as a JPG file and I will save it to the desktop I will close that and I will go back to the windows there and I'm going to go to insert and I know that this is a picture that I'm looking for I'm going to go to the there we are desktop there is my Sage Capture JPG and I'm going to insert it by selecting it and putting it in there and you can see this time I've only got that particular part so that is another way in which you can select and take information from Sage and you can send it on if you've got for example an area you can't understand you might want to capture just a part of the screen and send it to a supervisor Right. but screen capture for submission of assignments we're only going to require you to use the print screen or alt print screen but it's as well to be remember that Windows 7 and indeed Windows Vista before it had something called a snipping tool which is very useful thank you